So basically, if I walk over there, I just need you to turn it. Okay? All right. So the sum of two integers, the number eight. Um, we have the first one is n, first number, and then the next number after that would be n plus one. So if I have integers, so if I have negative five and four, negative four, how I represent that is negative five plus one. Make sense? Mm -hmm. Yeah. All right. So I have n. I draw my parentheses, n plus n plus 1 is equal to 1, 21. 2n plus 1, I combine my like terms, is equal to 1, 21. Subtract 1, subtract 1, 2n is equal to 1, 20. Divide both sides by 2, n is equal to 60. So what are the numbers? 60 and 61. Okay, does that make sense? Oh, Aiden. All right. Good try, though, Aiden. All right. I would like for you to please turn it over to the word problems on the back. And what I'm really concerned with is not your ability to solve the problem. I think that's the easy part. It's actually setting up the word problem. That's the really hard part. Mm -hmm. Or setting up the equation. You solving the equation, I, I'm not worried about. All right, number one says this. A number is multiplied by three, then, 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 before, it's, before this, it's multiplied by three. So the first thing I do to a number is multiply it by three. Aiden, I am about done typing that passcode into that I, iPhone. I'm so used to turning off my iPhone. For real. <laughs> 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 okay. Good job, Aiden. So the first thing I do is I have this number. I have, and I like to start like this and build it up. So I have this number. My first thing says, a number is multiplied by 3. So I'm just going to write a 3 next to it, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right? Yeah. Then 8 is added to the product. So to this, I add 8. Mm -hmm. yep. The result is what, Gabe? 50. Equals 50. Do you have this equation for number yeah. 1? Yeah. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. All right. We'll solve them in a minute. Number two, this is number one. Number two, if you add 120 to last year's enrollment, you add twice this year's enrollment, find last year's enrollment. So my enrollment is X. If I add 120 to it, it is twice this year's. Okay, so that's 2x. What's my sign in between? Libby? Equals. Equals 2x. Oh, yes. This one was hard. It was kind of tricky. When you see the word is, it means equal. Gabe is 5 feet 10 inches. Gabe's height equals 5 feet 10 inches. Joe is almost six feet a lot taller than me. I'm six four. Oh, yeah. Chris, you're not six four. So I'm six four. Six four. <laughs> okay. I thought you said six four. I was like, dude, there's no way you're six four. Whoa. All right. What's going on there? Excuse me. All right. Number three. Carla began with twelve yards of material. Okay. She made three pairs of curtains and had five yards left over. How much material did each of the pair of curtains take up? So this one was a little tricky worded, but nothing. So she starts with what? Twelve. Twelve. What is it that you don't know? How much, How much each curtain? Was. How much fabric per each curtain? So that's your that that's your uh, variable. So twelve feet. And it says feet squared. It just means when you buy material, if any of you know it, you buy it by the square yard or square feet. Square foot usually. Square foot. 
square yard right here. Because they, they oh. take it by the yard. Yeah. And usually it, 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 it's not always a yard this way, but they sell it by a yard. If you've ever been to Joanne's with your mom, no. and they, uh. they hold the ream of fabric, and they, they go really quick, and then they zoom the scissor up, that those two measure, or two um, yardsticks that they go from between is, is the, the length of that yard. Just FYI. Yeah. So 12 minus 3X, 3X yeah. equals... Five. 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 And that's that five yards that's left over of her total 12 yards. Let me draw you a picture. So this whole thing is 12 yards squared, okay? She has five left over. The part she used was divided equally into three pieces that we don't know how big they are. So this is really the problem that we're solving. Does that picture make sense to you? Yeah. So... Either of these are going to give us the same answer. Number four. The product of a number and five decreased by seven is 138. All right. The product of a number and five, how do I begin that? 5x. 5x. Decreased by seven. Minus seven. 17. 17. Oh, 17. Is 138. How do we do on that one? That one's not so bad? Yeah. Good. Mrs. Rice, can you do X parentheses 17 minus 5? X? No. Because it says a number, the product of a number. And 5. A num of the product of a number and 5. So the number and 5 are together. Uh, number five, family spends $169 a month on heating. So what is their total bill equal to? $169. Um, what is this? Five. So $169 equals something. Um, they use 20 50-pound bags of coal. And eighty-five dollars worth of oil. How much does a fifty-pound bag of coal cost? Um, what do you got, Mike? I have twenty x plus eighty-five equals one sixty-nine. Absolutely, twenty x plus eighty-five. Because this is money. This is money. This x is money, and this is the number of bags. So you got to figure out the number of bags. Multiply that by the money to get a money. Answer. Does that make sense? Okay. Um, and then number six, Lou owes Rick sixty-two dollars. The perpendicular line from seven is that going to appear on an equator test? Perpendicular and parallel. You got to know what the slope relationship is. All right. Number six, Lou owes Rick sixty-two dollars. Equals 62. Alright? This is half the cost of the stereo they bought less $5. I so, I know, it's, it's odd. So, half the cost of the stereo less $5. So, so the cost, half the cost of the stereo minus $5 is 62. Is it half x minus five? Yes. yes. So less five is like that. It, I know. It's an odd word. Odd words. Why is it half? Uh, half of x. Half. Half. So it has to be represented by one half. All right. I'm going to give you a number. I want you to solve the equation of the number that I give you. Ready? Five. You're just going to solve one. 
Is that okay? Yeah. We're gonna get you lots of answers. Mm -hmm. No? All right. One, two, three, yeah, four, five, two. six. One, two, three, four, five, You're six. One, one two, two, three, four. Go! I'm two. Wait, one, one two, two, three, three four. four. Oh, You're okay. three. I'm two. Dude, I got an easy one. One. Mr. Birch says to me, 
Um, I've got to put some more desks in your room because one of my classes next year is going to be really big because I'm going to have a combined class. He said, do you need all that stuff in your cabinet? And I was like, mm-hmm. I'm like, I do. I use all the random stuff back there at least once a year. Like Aiden? <laughs> I get rid of that part. All right. Uh, wait, 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 wait. All right. Here. I, I have my name. What? <laughs> Don't, don't distract that. <laughs> All right, here we go. Symbols. 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 All right, the equal sign means that, and we read it from left to right. Somebody give me a statement that is true. They, we read math. We read math the same as we read English from left to right. Do you agree with that? Yeah. Yes. So what is on the left side equals what's on the right side, right? Yeah. Somebody give me a statement. Samantha, give me a statement. Um, can't think of Maggie? Four plus one equals five. I like that one. What's on the left is equal to what's on the right. Are we okay there? Yeah. yeah. All right. We have another symbol. That is an arrow. This is greater than. Okay, no, 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 no. We're not going Pac-Man. We're not going anything. Nothing's eating anything. Greater than. So it means the left side is larger than... The right side. Somebody, for a starburst, give me an example. Mickey, here's your starburst. Hey. All right, Joe? 81 is greater than 50. Give me an addition or subtraction or something. 81 plus 1 is greater than 50 minus 1. 81 plus 1 is greater than, I like it, 50 plus 1. I like it. Okay, does that make sense? Mm -hmm. This is a true statement. Okay, this is an arrow. Basically, they took the, the um, line part off. Does that make sense? It's pointing down. When math, when in math, when you go to the left or you go down, it, it, it's meaning getting smaller. So, less than, what, somebody in your own words, what does it mean, Chris? It means the, um, the right side is greater than the left side. Go, we're, we always in math I mean, go from left to right. The left side um, is smaller than Very the good. right side. The left side is l -l 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 smaller. Than the right. Who can give me an example? Mike? Um, 85 minus 1 is less than 95 plus 1. Good job. Hang on a second. I still I didn't get my story. I said, <laughs> Only if you gave it up for lunch. Sorry. I got a sticker on it and give it over. <laughs> okay. Lucky star. All right. This is all we're going to do today on this. What you will see is they'll add a greater than or equal to, a less than or equal to. But we're just going to work with less than or greater than today. All right. So, what do we got for today? Oh, we can do this. Oh, my gosh. We have so much time. I love this. All right. Um, <laughs> Board. We will. We are. We will do whiteboards in a minute. Let me write three examples. Uh, no, four little examples in your notebook on to help you. Uh, all right. Example one. Sam, if you can follow me. All right. Twelve is less than twenty. So if you see the statement, twelve is less. Write this down. Than twenty. How do you write this as a numerical statement, not just oh, 
Yes. All right. Um, Will. Uh, number twelve, and then the less than symbol. Okay. And twenty. All right. Twelve is less than twenty. That's easy enough. Easy. Example two. Uh, nine is greater than three. Sophie? Nine and then the greater than sign. Uh -huh. and three. Nine greater than three. Example three. Be, 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 be careful. On a number line. Six is between zero and eleven. It's only true or false. All right. Huh? No, it's true. We're gonna have three numbers. What are my three numbers? Libby? Six zero. All right, so let's put them in numerical order. Thank you. 